So I was just on this really awesome panel. Um, hi, I'm Cindy Allen, Editor-in-Chief of Interior Design. And there was eight really smart, interesting architects talking about you know, how the virus is changing the work environment. Makes you think as a designer, like it's exciting to think of all the new things we can do. We've been working with a local company, Fractal. Dave Robinson has been bringing up similar thinking that I saw in, coming from that panel. So event space is going through a big shift where people want it to feel more like a co-working space. Often you hear the same thing like, oh, I want one little office at the back, I want open area for my people. So we're starting to see a consistent development of the type of spaces that exist. So this area that we have behind us, right up to that wall there, was originally going to be all open space. But on the 11th hour, or sort of late in the building design process, we said, let's build what people want. The difficulty was when we threw a big event, there was no mobility. We went over there recently trying to help him deal with his, what he saw as his current problem and we took our products, which are all on casters and very movable. In about an hour, we transformed their uh, open area into this co-working area. Having products that can adapt quickly for one use and then adapt to another makes it very powerful. Being able to plan the entire space for that flexibility and modularity uh, is where we're moving. And so my vision is to work with Snapcab to create products that allow us to convert you know, demountable walls and sort of privacy and open areas and then even desks that become part of the system. You need to have the building set up so it's basically a blank sheet of paper with uh, doorways that allow this kit of parts to move from one area to another. On the weekends you want to be able to put on events then in an hour have people come in and transform it back into co-working space. So uh, we're at the end of a hall which is where one of our largest team rooms is. It's a double windowed office and uh, typical to co-working it's uh, quite a large room with desks, uh, open style desks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this corner and we're gonna put in one of the meat fours, uh, which is set up actually as a workspace now. The new seals on the door make it really quite soundproof. We're going to experiment with how to enhance large co-working team rooms with the SnapCab product. Uh, we've just started using uh, these self-contained units. Uh, we have an office space, which is a co-working space and, uh, and there's a lot of common area and our staff is, is in like a call center environment. I'm a pretty loud talker when I'm on sales calls, etc. and this allows for some privacy so the staff don't have to listen to me or, or get disrupted by that. You know, these are great sort of self-contained units for creating that social distancing and creating space uh, between your other co-workers. Certainly you could maintain it yourself in terms of disinfecting, etc. When other staff need a quiet moment or privacy or or to have a conversation that, that they don't want everyone included in. This allows them an opportunity to do that, to work uh, in the privacy, but still inside the same office. So really cool uh, stuff for sure. And, and uh, I mean, I, I think it'd be a great asset in anybody's office. So we made the pods and then we have connects walls that you can make isolated work areas that are very flexible. And now I'm realizing, oh, well we need to make movable desks that go with, that link in with the pods and the walls. We can actually make uh, trims that go on the outside corners of uh, columns and outside corners of walls that uh, have the hardware where you can put uh, demountable walls that then go over and connect to a pod. So you can rearrange your area as many times as you want. Walls go up and down and power where you need it. But I, I'll have to say this idea of a kit of parts has really gotten my imagination. And I just love the idea of having you know, desks, pods, walls, able to connect into the architecture that their, their environment and then be able to pass through from environment to environment. Is that a big stretch for SnapCab based upon what, you're, what you've designed and what you're selling today? Uh, we love designing products and then we love prototyping products. We've been pumping out prototypes like crazy lately. We try them out at places like Fractal, and then we have our factory. We have two factories, one in uh, Kingston, Ontario, and one just outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And so we can take it from, you know, napkin sketch to prototype to in production very quickly. And it's just the idea of being able to have people not sign a five-year lease anymore. And if they're having a COVID problem, they can flex their space to deal with that. If they're having a event, on the weekend, they can flex their space to that, you know, and people can really get the privacy they need when and where they need it.
and they can have that great balance from uh, home to work. Coming off of that panel with all those designers, uh, they talk so much about how you know coming out of this challenging, difficult period is going to require more adaptability and flexibility and movability and we're definitely having a lot of fun we trying are to work fun. our way through this. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks Jack. Thanks Glenn.